And that party last night at Pins was totally awesome. Yeah, I was so all over that dance floor. And I met a mysterious man, just like my horoscope said. Can you believe it was Byron Powell, the mean judge from America Rocks? Your interview with him is gonna rock. Well, my horoscope said a handsome prince would sweep me away on a horse. More like I kissed a duke and he turned into a frog. Cheer up, Chloe. Cause tonight, Bratz Magazine hits the Save the Universe concert. And thanks to Yasmin, we've also got backstage passes. Mother of Pink, those rotten little brats scooped us on that stupid punk rock club last night, and now they're going to scoop us on the Save the Universe concert. If I don't get tickets ASAP for that sold-out concert, I'll hang both of you by your ears from the top of Big Ben. Ow! Got it. Now, chop, chop! Ow! Uh, not my mother again. Mom. Oh, <laughs> hi, Cameron. We were just leaving Fried Park. Um, okay. See you there. Hot date, Angel? No, it was just Cameron. Hey, pretty princess, the concert tickets are in a safe place, right? I don't want Berdine or those Tweedles to get their thieving hands on them. Trust me, Bunny Boo. I've got them stashed. <laughs> Whoa, the suite is like amazing. Look at all this neat stuff. No! <laughs> oh, it's nice. Give it to me. I saw it first. No, not me. Oh, it's mine. Uh, it's alive. Casey, turn it off. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Your turn, Cameron. Got it. <laughs> hey, Chloe, you believe in love at first sight? After Nigel, I'm not so sure. Come on, let's go hang with the others. Let's get to it, everybody do it. Everybody have some fun, hey, now! We better find those tickets before Old Birdface kills us. Yeah, because it'll be really hard to find them if we're dead. <gasps> Ooh, this jacket is, like, so cute. Ew, put it down. It's got brats cooties. Bingo! <laughs> Our lives are, like, so not over. We're, We're going, going to, to live. live! They're back! Quick, hide! Mind if I hang out here while room service cleans my suite? If you promise to be quiet, I have to work on questions for my interview with Byron Powell. Hey, what time does the concert start? I want to make sure I have major mirror time to get ready. I'll check. Oh my gosh, the tickets are gone! This concert is my dream come true. Every jam and rock band in the world is gonna be there. And we're gonna meet them all backstage, thanks to Yasmin. This scoop is gonna put Bratz Magazine on the map. I know I hid them in my jacket. Think, think for me, Dylan. I can't believe this is happening. What am I going to do? <gasps> I know. I'll find Byron. He'll get us in. Stay here and cover for me, okay? And don't tell anyone I lost the tickets. They'll have to hang me by my thumbs and force me to use generic shampoo. I'll be back in a flash. Oh, 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 oh,
help. I've just got to find Byron. Byron, open up. It's me, Yasmin. I need to talk to Byron Powell. It's an emergency. My life is so over. Stop, don't move. Here's some dirty laundry. Ew, it's the brat's used underwear. Cootie alert! Ew! 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 Let's get to the concert early so we can hang with the bands before they go on. Hey, guys. Where's Yasmin? Oh, she had to, um, go out. Really? Where? Um, bowling. Bowling? Not! You're hiding something, aren't you? Me? No way. Nothing to hide. So, um, what's new? Read any good books lately? Tickle Fest! Tell us! Spill it! <laughs> okay! Okay, okay! I confess. Yasmin lost the concert tickets and is out trying to get new passes. Those tickets cannot be gone. We've got to find them. My article depends on it. I told her to put those tickets in a safe place. She said she did. Well, not safe enough. Chill, Bunny Boo. Yaz is our friend. We got to hear her side of the story. You're right, Angel. So what if you don't stock them? When are you idiots going to get the message? Mission accomplished. My nose is going to fall off. Ugh, you and your bad nose jobs. Perfection. Your Thing magazine is going to leave Bratz magazine in the dust. Bratz, your careers are over. I bet everyone is going to be at that concert. And all eyes will be on me. Which is why you two are going to turn me into a hipster. <laughs> the tickets have got to be around here somewhere. What? Dylan, how could you? Sorry, but they tickled it out of me. Pretty princess, why didn't you want to tell us? <sighs> oh, cool cat. I was afraid to let you guys and the magazine down. Yasmin, tickets or no tickets, we still love you. Really? Of course. Our friendship is way more important than some concert. How do I look? Can you smell the surf and sand inside me? For Dean Maxwell, it's Honolulu you. Mother of pink, it's Honolulu me. The bouncer said only bands were allowed in. Yo, yes. What's that on your shoe? Ew! Why does that gross bandage look so familiar? Weevils. You didn't lose the tickets. Those seriously evil twins got in here and stole them. Oh, no. We'll never get the tickets back now. We might as well give up and go home and forget all our dreams and get dead in jobs where they make you work under those awful fluorescent lights and no amount of makeup can make you look good in those and... Well, no way am I gonna let Verdine and the Tweevils destroy my dream again. You mean our dream, Cool Cat. Nothing's gonna stop us from launching Bratz Magazine. So what are we gonna do? Yasmin, did you say they only let rock bands into the concert? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's become a rock band! Look, people, we got less than four hours to put together a slamming song and convince that bouncer that we're the real thing. Four hours? We'll never make it! Chill, Angel! My horoscope said music is my thing and I know how to make it happen. Here's the plan. I'll work out the moves. Jade, you're in charge of wardrobe. On it! Chloe and Yasmin, you write the song. Awesome! Rockin'! I'll be your roadie. And I'll be your lead singer. Backup singer? Lip syncer? 
Actually, Dylan, you belong behind the camera. Paparazzi? Hot! So what are you gonna call yourselves? Hmm, what about Sasha's Angels? Hold on, Angels, hmm, Rock. What about Rock Angels? What about Bratz Rock Angels? Love it! Yes, Bratz Rock Angels! Come on, Bratz Rock Angels. Let's move it and groove it. Football time. And feeling all right. We know we've got it all right here. something? Oh, oh no! Guitars! guitars! <gasps> oh my gosh! We'll never get them in time for the concert. The bouncer won't let us in. We won't get our backstage exclusive or interview with Byron Powell. Our premiere issue of Bratz Magazine will tank and I'll have to go camping with my parents and sing Elvis songs! Hey guys, look what we scored at the flea market. Bratz Rock Angels, hit it! Guys, rock! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Are you too sure this is the hot new dance? Oh, yeah. Everyone at school is like so doing it. Right, Casey? Yeah! Now follow us! <laughs> I know you guys could play guitars like that. There's a lot of things you don't know about us. Yeah, Sasha here. See you in a few. Our limo is waiting. Limo! It's time for the Bratz Rock Angels to rock the world. Bratz Rock Angels, over here. This one's for the cover of Bratz Magazine. Dookie, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just thought I'd venture out to sneer at the exploits of the masses. <gasps> Araya. Oh, oh, my nose! You're Nigel Forrester, the ninth Duke of Lessex. Uh, as I'm sure you know, I'm Berdine Maxwell, the founder, president, and editor-in-chief of Your Thing magazine and the reigning queen of fashion. Look, queen, whoever you are, get yourself a surfer, dude. One my father's age. <gasps> Your father's age? <laughs> Man, you don't recognize the Bratz Rock Angels? They're the most style and hip new rock band. Come on, one more. Keep Mr. Space Invader away from us, okay? Hey! We did it! We're in! What do you mean, crash, crashed? Your band broke up? Yeah, the band split. It's over for Crash. But I'm not ready to go solo. This is absolutely, positively an unmitigated disaster! I feel terrible. This concert means so much to everyone. Oh my gosh! You're Roxy, lead singer of Crash! You were supposed to go on stage now! What are we gonna do? Can you girls sing? You bet we can sing. Rock Angels! Right! What are they doing 
up there. Get down. Do you hear me? Get down! Okay, lady. Let's go. I will have you arrested. Do you know who I am? Put me down! Not our problem. They're rocket hot and rocking your world. Give it up for the Bratz Rock Angels! We know how to dare, we know how to dream. Tonight is the night, what we want to be, will be. We're gonna make it through. Let's conquer the fears, take every chance. So that is how the girls with a passion for fashion watched Bratz, their very own teen magazine, and became rock stars. The trip to London gave us so many awesome stories. Bratz celebrity exclusive, Byron Powell, the ultimate judge. You girls are absolutely, positively the best band I've ever heard. Inspiration for my first Bratz quiz. Is your boyfriend a royal jerk? Question one, does he diss your best friends? Those misfits. If your answer is yes, dump, dump him. him. A super style and fashion scoop. Pretty in Punk, London's latest looks. As well as my very own do's and don'ts column. Do's, don'ts. But the scoop of the century was how to make your own rock band. Here at four, Girl Power! Our magazine was a home run. Uh, my new ensemble! <laughs> my new nose! <laughs> like we said, flying objects are just drawn to it. Verdine was so depressed, she ate a plateful of hamburgers with extra Must cheese destroy. and mayo. Must destroy brats. Of course she blamed our super style and success on the Tweevils. And the Tweevils had to pay the Must price. Must destroy brats. As for our careers as rock stars, Byron gave us a grubalicious recording contract. Oh, you guys rock! Roxy became our new best friend forever. And we went on a worldwide tour.
and the Bratz Rock Angels zoom to the top of the charts. Oh, I almost forgot. We added one last super style and touch to our pad. The cover of our premier issue of Bratz Magazine. We're the girls with a passion for fashion. And we rock! Check out these jamming tunes I got for our wildlife safari park. Cool. The rockin' safari prints and toy parrots I ordered are on their way. Where's Yasmin? Library. She's stressing because she has a poem due Monday. Poems are easy. Tell her not to sweat it. She'll get it. Casey, get it? quit grossing uh, me out! I'm trying to hear what the brats are up to. Look what I can do since I've had my new nose job. Who are you taking to the party, Eaton? I know who I want to ask, but I don't think she'll go out with me. Dude, just follow my advice. I'll show you how to get your crush in a rush. Hey, that's an awesome idea for a Bratz Magazine article. Chloe's right. Eaton, here's your big op to finally write for our magazine. Oh, cool. But she's not really a crush. She's just this really cute girl I like. So who is she? I'm not telling. Oh, come on! Just spill it. Nope. No way. I can't believe Eaton is taking me to the party. Hey, are you deaf? He's taking me to the party. What makes you think he would ask someone as ugly as you? Uh, you're just jealous because I am, like, so much prettier than you. Stop it! Stop it! Junk. 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 More junk. Welcome to GreatestDates.com. You've passed our stringent background check. Ah, mother of pink! I'm going to meet a man. Ugh, I'm Eden's crush. No, I'm Eden's crush. No, he likes me because I'm, like, so blonde. Well, he likes me because I, like, so know how to wear pink. We'll see when Eden asks me out for that Bratz Magazine article on how to get a girl to go out with you. <laughs> That's the worst magazine idea I've ever heard. We'll do How to Get a Guy to Go Out With You. Neo! Your thing will outscoop that crummy little Bratz magazine once and for all. Yeah! Styling! Oh, uh, that must be the toy parrots. Now that's what I call lifelike. Ah! Lifelike! Lifelike! Oh my gosh! They're alive! Don't be ridiculous. Ew! They're real, all right. So how are we supposed to write this article anyway? Simple. We'll just copy everything from this book. The Loser's Guide to Dating, Dining, and Dumping. Oh, here's a chapter on flirting. Walk past a guy slowly and wink. <gasps> you idiot, you're supposed to wink with one eye at a time. Hey, I'm not paying you nothing to hang out in the ladies' room. Um, um actually, we were just practicing our flirting technique for the article. Walk past boys and wink. Well, you're not going to meet any boys in here! <gasps> She's right. We should be hanging out in the men's room. Yeah! <laughs> See, I told you Birdface had a facelift. It's like so tight she could hardly wink. <laughs> the mail order company refuses to take the parrots back. Hi, Eaton. Want some scorching parrots? Watch it! Watch it! No way. But wish me luck, because I'm ready to ask that girl out. We don't think so! Makeover! Now you're ready! Yes! Dude, where are you going to ask that girl out? Now you're ready. Except for two tiny things. This is for your ear. 
so I can coach you on the fine art of smooth-talking chicks. I don't know, Dylan. You want a date or not? I forgot something. I'm going to go back down. <laughs> well, uh, I forgot something, too. Kirsty! Me first! No! Me! No! Me first! No! Me! No! Stop it! Me! He's getting away! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Dylan's advice, take one. Uh, um... Hey, gorgeous. Awesome outfit. Really flatters your rockin' bod. Um, gorgeous, that awful outfit really flattens your pork and bod. Huh? Not cool! You idiot! You idiot? I, I mean, I'm an idiot for saying flattens when I, I meant flatters. You know, it's a good thing. Um, Ita, no offense, but I'm kind of busy. Is there something you wanted to ask me? Yes. The safari party! The safari party! The safari party! The safari party! What about it? Um, did you know that it's this weekend? Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> See ya. Nice going, Romeo. Date. Ah. Hey, Slick Fox here. I'm tall, dark, handsome, and looking for a love connection. Hi, I'm pretty in pink, and... Well, now what do I say? I want a guy who's, like, handsome, tall, athletic, and likes to buy me things. And works in a juice bar. Brag about your good points. <gasps> Quick, hide the book! Mother of Pink, where's that dating article? Uh, well, we're working on it, <laughs> see? <laughs> well, hurry up, I need it! I, I mean, your thing needs it. Hmm, brag about your good points. Hi, Slick Fox. It's me again, pretty in pink. I'm tall, naturally blonde and beautiful, and, oh, that's just for starters. <laughs> cool. I'm 25. How old are you? 31. Oops. Uh, let's see. 25. Ah, oh, close enough. I can't believe we blew up a hundred balloons! I did serious damage to my puckering muscles. No, no, no! You're way too tense. Look at the walkalizer readout. Jaw's too tight. Obviously, you're thinking about it too much. Uh, droopy shoulders shows lack of confidence. Clenched fist! You're supposed to be a lover, not a fighter. And you're walking on your tiptoes. Are you a ballerina? Are you in stealth mode? Is the floor too hot? Check it out. You gotta ooze confidence. Talk the talk, walk the walk. Do the deal, man, swagger. Excuse me, the master's at work here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Let's go for it, dude. Ladies, a stud is born. Goodbye, Goodbye Dylan. Dylan. The parents, uh, they bust uh, loose. Uh, Quick! Uh, uh, Let's get those jailbirds uh, back in their cages. Uh, 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 uh. Chloe, these parents are wrecking everything. We've got to get rid of them. I've tried, but even the zoo doesn't want them. Want them? Want them? Dylan's bad advice, take two. This poem is just not happening. Like, hey. Now pose and turn around. Today's your lucky day. 
Because you and the E-Man, that's me, are going to the hottest party this side of the sun Saturday night. Um, the sun's really hot, and so is the party Saturday. Me, E-Man. You, Jane? Um, are you asking me out? Would you listen to me? Quit talking so fast! Are you asking me out? No, not you. I, I, I mean, <laughs> yes. No plan. We're going for the strong, silent type. So shut up and impress her with your strength. Um, Yasmin, watch this. Eaton, what are you doing? S slipping a disc. <laughs> ah! oh. oh my gosh. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Are you okay? Fine. It only hurts when I walk. <laughs> um, there's a safari party Saturday. I thought maybe... You know I'd like to go, but this poem is due on Monday. Oh, okay. I got it. But if I get done in time, well, maybe. Maybe? Okay. So it's a definite maybe. Um, see ya. Oops, I'm still at work. Oh, hi, Eden. I can do the bump. A big bump, I can do a bigger bump. My new nose! Oh! My new ensemble! Smooth move, Quetzi. Dylan's really bad advice, take three. Girls dig expensive gifts, so you gotta seal the deal by getting her some major bling. Oh, yeah, right. On a waiter's tips? Okay, so maybe it doesn't have to be major bling. Every little thing I've ever wanted is everything you are now. And all I wanna be is here with you. Yeah. I wanna be the one to make you happy. So let me show you how. Forever be faithful and true. I just want the real you. <laughs> so come on, let me show you how I feel too. Oh. So, Eaton, how's the article coming? Oh, great. I got a definite maybe. You got less than six hours to the party. Dude, we're pulling out the heavy artillery, the kind I usually reserve for asking out seniors. Come on, Dylan. The only senior you've ever gone out with is your grandmother. Eaton, it's time to flaunt the big bucks under her nose and tell her you know Orlando Bloom. Actually, it's time to try something else. Something called doing it my way. I hope it works. Otherwise, your magazine article is gonna be one big snooze. Speaking of the magazine, editorial meeting in 20. I'll call Yasmin and Warner. She's using our pad to work on her poem. The waves wash away living history on stone. The seagulls scatter. My love stands alone. The sun is gone. The moon. with you. You will? Yes, but leave the ladies room now. Does she feel what I feel inside? Eaton only asked you out because of the article. Yeah. What article? The article he's writing for Bratz magazine about how to get a girl to go out with you. Didn't your friends tell you? <laughs> <laughs> People, let's focus on our next article. Focus! 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 focus. Cooking pizza with barbecued parrots? 
Hey, pretty princess. Don't pretty princess me. I found out about the Eaton article. Scorching idea, right? No, not scorching at all. How could you let Eaton do this to me? I thought we were friends. We are, pretty princess. Some friends. <gasps> Yasmin must be Eaton's crush. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh, uh-oh! Why do they call you Slick Fox? Because I'm as slick as I am foxy. Here's our article on how to get a guy to ask you out. Give me that. Why are you still here? Out, out, chop, chop. Do you think our dating advice works? I mean, like, we don't have any dates. That's only because you wasted all that time going after Eden when he so obviously liked Yasmin. Uh, you thought he liked you too. Uh-uh, I said Cameron liked me. Stick pins and brats, voodoo dolls. <laughs> Oops, better delete that. Date men with movie star looks. Well, I got the looks. How about we get together Saturday night so you can check them out? I'll be in black. Ew. I'll be in pink. Oh, man. After following Dylan's advice, you're lucky Yasmin hasn't taken out a restraining order against you. Yasmin! Hey, uh, what time should I pick you up for the party? Not only am I not going to the party with you, I never want to see you again. Uh, wait, uh, why? Or speak to you. Hi, Cameron. I, like, so like your socks. <laughs> Well, I look so like your shirt. I can name all the characters on my life to live. I can make a milkshake come out of my nose. Ugh! Ugh. I'm out of here. I'm wearing him down. Come on, let's call her. Left alone. But tears can't rewrite the past. Yasmin? It's Eaton? I said I never want to speak to you again, even if there's a door between us. Then just listen. Your friends didn't know you were the one I was asking out. They'd never set you up like that. And neither would I. Just go write your article and leave me alone. Not till I'm finished. Look. I've liked you since you walked into the juice bar last summer and corrected my spelling of pomegranate. But I was too nervous to ask you out. And Dylan offered to help. You took advice from Dylan? Yes. That's how much I wanted to take you to the party. Will you open the door now? Just a crack? are going to wilt in the rain. All this work going down the drain, not to mention my outfit, my hair, my mascara. What are we gonna do? Have jungle, we'll travel. The sun is gone, the moon has yet to rise. My past vanishes in my beloved eyes? But that doesn't really make sense. Well, let me think. Oh, how about his love for me fades with the vanilla skies? Eaton, that's beautiful. Thanks. Yasmin! Eaton! You're talking to each other. Pretty princess, we are so sorry. We had no idea Eaton was crushing on you. I know, Eaton's explained everything. I'm sorry too. I should have known you guys wouldn't betray me like that. Gag me! Gag me! <laughs> Slick Fox? Pretty in pink. Ah! Tall, dark, and 
handsome? Tall, naturally blonde, and beautiful. 25! I won't tell if you won't. Fine. Double Trouble just walked in. What are they doing here? I've got it covered. Uh, I can't believe we didn't get dates. And we're like so much more gorgeous than everyone here. You're just in time. So, like, where's our party favors? Yeah. Oh, we have special ones just for you. Wow. These birds are like so beautiful and lifelike. Yeah. 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 Dance. And that is how I became the subject of Eaton's Bratz Magazine article titled How Not to Ask a Girl Out. Everybody